Hey guys, it's me. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great Thursday. Today is Thursday. I started my vacation yesterday. Yay! Uh, I will not have to return back to work till Monday evening. So, super excited. I'm sorry about the way my hair is looking today, but it is like really hot. It's not as hot as it was last weekend, but it's pretty warm. I wanted to share with you a collective haul from Walmart, Dollar Tree, <coughs> um, Walgreens, a thrift store, Mainly a lot of Dollar Tree goodies, so and Walmart. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, one of the things I wanted to uh, share with you was something, and I just remembered to include it. Is let's just go into the Walgreens because that is. I just got two or three things here, and I've already opened these. Um, I found this awesome um, pencil bag to help me organize my planner stuff. It was on clearance for a dollar fifty-nine, and it's got a, a zipper pouch here. It's got a zipper here, and then another zipper here. Now in the back, I have stickers, some washi tape, and some paper. And then in the one in front of it, I have like little washi tape and paper clips and that kind of thing. And I keep at least two things of the um, this. Uh, Elmer's washable school glue disappearing purple and it has worked pretty well. I think I had an issue with this before and I was using something from uh, Michael's that I got. So it was on clearance for $1.59. It had different colors. And then last week they had, and I think they've got some kind of pencils on sale for $0.29. Cents. I can't remember. But these were, these are the Smoother Ink Paper Make, I think they're the Eagle Pens. Um, there, you get 10 of them for 29 cents, and so I got blue, and I got, of course, black, and I figured that both me and my husband can use these when we're also doing note-taking when we're at church, so that's pretty much all I got at Walgreens. Walmart, you don't, you don't, go ahead with that one. Actually, let me show you the one thrift store find that I did have. Um, I'm still looking for, I was, well, I was, until yesterday. I was, I've been carrying this big makeup <coughs> model makeup bag that you guys have seen that I shared in my Bible art drilling uh, video that I just recently posted. And it's a good bath, little bag, but it was like a little suitcase for me to carry that back and forth to church. And so I wound up deciding, uh, I was talking about maybe getting a $20 Bible carrier that would have room for your note taking, but I took pictures of it, sat sat around thinking about it, looking at the pictures, and decided to get something else. And I did. Uh, at the local Goodwill here in town, I found this awesome, it's a Bible carrier, like this. And it didn't have the strap with it, but I can find one that I can just clip on there. And I got, I paid for two dollars, I paid two dollars for this, and it's got like another little pocket that you can put something else over here. This is strictly for my Bible art journaling supplies. And I have my Bible, I showed you guys where my Bible is in. It's, that way I can just carry my Bible in this and then carry this when I go to church. And it looks a little bulky, but it's not as bulky as what I was carrying. And what I have in here now was I took my Crayola, crayon, uh, the Crayola pencils that I bought and stuck them. I divided them into two. Um, it's, this is what the inside of it looks like. You have a pocket here, a zipper pocket here, and some other multiple pockets um, on here. If you guys want to see this in more detail, a, a video on this, let me know. But in this pocket right here at the top, I want to put my markers and my pencils. And I took the pencils that are like smaller than the taller ones in there. And then so on and so on. So I put that in there. And then when you flip it where you actually put your Bible at, I put my Bible art journaling notebook there and then my stickers there. So I had to fly up. So I thought it was pretty cool, and it'll be just a little bit better once I get that strap on there, and that way I can just carry this in my Bible, and I'm good to go. Or if I just want to go to say Starbucks or to the library and just wear my Bible art journaling, I can just take this in my Bible, and I'm good. So yeah, pretty darn cool for two dollars. Okay. Um, I guess let's go ahead and do the Dollar Tree haul now. I don't have the cover to this, but one of the things I got at Dollar Tree was this pad. I tore off the top of it to use it for something. You basically, it's a three-in-one pad where you get the construction paper, 
um, and the scribble paper, and then you also get the tracing paper. So, like, this is the tracing paper, and then um, I'm figuring that's the scribble paper. It looks the same to me. So, I, you know, I paid a dollar. And I mainly got for the tracing paper, but I figured if I don't use any of the paper in this thing, I can always take that out and donate it to our church, you know, for the children's crafts. While I was there, I picked up another coloring book. Don't laugh, I got Pooh Bear and uh, Friends. Uh, we needed Pooh. I thought it would be something different. Um, my friend Chris is really into Pooh Bear, but this you know, gives you more detailed coloring books. And I was very careful not to pick up two of these because I picked up two Precious Moment coloring books and they wind up being pretty much the same thing in both of them. So I thought that was a good deal with the back of it. While I was there, I picked up this cool little thing. I've been wanting one of these and any of the Dollar Trees were, whether it be here or in the Dallas ones, never had these. This is the only one they had left in the store and I grabbed it is this little two drawer thing. I haven't decided what I'm going to use it for so I'm probably going to keep it in the plastic until I decide to do that because what you guys are set, uh, I'm leaning you guys against uh, on has my lip balms and it was just a cute little basket I got at Walgreens. Um, I kind of I don't know, I may put my earrings in here because my earrings are also sitting on the thing that you guys are sitting on top of and then use it for something else, but I haven't really decided, so tell them for sure I'm going to leave that in its wrapper. Okay. I got these things, and I needed shampoo and conditioner, and I know I probably should have got the matching shampoo or conditioner, but I wanted to try both, and I think one of these leaked out. Um... Let me show you the brand, and I got the Moisturizing Tea Treatment Shampoo, and grab that. It's a, I think it's supposed to be a dupe for that expensive brand that you know you can get at Walgreens or CVS or places like that. And I grabbed a hydrating Aragon, I guess that's how you say it. I always mispronounce it, oil and cocoa butter conditioner. They had both their either conditioner or shampoo there but I wanted to try both and so I'll, I'll let you guys know and I'll you know I'll just do a review on these so go check these out um I went to two different Dollar Trees one here and one in Quinlan which is like what, 10 minutes from here maybe yeah. 15 like 10 or 15 minutes from here and they also had those now at that one I found something really exciting I think I saw Amanda I can't remember her name she's from Tennessee I think I saw her and Miss Rock. I think Miss Rock took a mod of Instagram or just trying to Snapchat of this. I saw this, uh, and when I when I when I saw this on one of their channels or something to that fact, and saw this in my Dollar Tree, I went ahead and got this. Well, the one I went to, the White Rain, the White Rain Boutique Collection. They had several different products there. This is the one that most intrigued me. This is the facial cleanser and makeup remover. It's a foaming face wash to gently remove makeup for soft, clear skin. It's supposed to be paraben-free. So, I thought I would give that a try. And I have makeup on today for the first time in over a week. So, I will let you guys know. Your first impressions. And my final review. It says on the back, this general makeup remover, remover is formulated with mild, mild cleansing agents to create a fresh, lightweight foam as you, lather, as you lather, effectively removing dirt, oil, purities, and all traces of makeup. So... I always go back in with a astringent anyway, so we'll see how it does. And then I now I know this isn't gonna last on me all day, but I needed something to put in my locker when I go back to work next week. Um, I have a Victoria's Secret, some kind of beachy um, scent I've had for like three years, and I'm almost done with it. I've got like maybe that much. I'm I'm two or three sprays away from if that uh, from using it up. And so I grabbed this Power Stick. It's a deodorant spray for her. It's supposed to be like a Acts for her dupe. I think the brand name Scream, but it looks like this. And it smells really good, but it didn't linger. So even the lady that was checking me out says she didn't think it was going to last, but I wanted to try it out. And while I was there, I picked up these strawberry scented stickers. I don't know if these are going to be strawberry scented, but the fact is they're strawberries, and I love strawberries, so I thought that would be pretty cool for my planner, journal, whatever I want to. And then. Uh, for that, okay. Um, Walmart. I was in Walmart this morning picking up a few things. 
and a gentleman, I had laid my eyes on these, and the gentleman said, uh, that was, uh, looking, he was buying these, he said he saw a commercial on these, and so I'm like, crap. Honey, what do we think about these cookies? They're awesome. They are. <laughs> they are limited edition brownie batter flavored Oreos. Y'all, you open these up and you're like, oh, brownies. So, I'm pretty sure I Instagrammed this picture. I had taken a picture of this in my shopping cart and the journaling art community Facebook group along with the art supplies I had. And I think everybody was liking the picture because of the Oreos. So, they are the bomb. Okay. Um, I went into Walmart needing a couple of things. And I don't have the cover for this, but the brand name is Alex. They had this little dollar paint set and my husband said he had worked um or it, well he said he was familiar with this brand and said it wasn't very good but I tried this out last night it's actually not bad this was a dollar so I thought about getting two but I decided to stick with this one so yeah so far I tried it out a couple times it seems to work great on my hobby Nietzsche and my regular art drawing thing I have that 36 count watercolors but I was looking for something that was more portable uh, I grabbed this Craze Art Washable Watercolors paint set for $1.64. I know Crayola brand is better, but Craze Art's not bad either. It came with a brush, which I probably won't use. The black on here is not as good. The black in this thing is better because I did a page in my Hobonichi. And so I'm going to go back over it. But overall, this is not bad for $1.64. So this is a really good thing to pick up. I went on and picked up Crayola crayons, and they had a little a tin to put these in and I started to get it started to get it now change my mind now wishing I had but I uh, that's okay I went ahead and got these because I've used up half my colors already I'm almost out of some of them so I grabbed these and this pack I think has the peachy flesh color that I need so grab that I, I want to say that was less than two dollars no wait those were 50 cents um Let's see, I got me, I have another ruler, but part of it, it's got a thing in there, and I keep forgetting where it's at, and I want, I want to mess up my page doing that, so this is just a Fisker's cheap wooden ruler. I went and got two in case my husband wanted one for his art stuff, so yeah, and you can put these in your notebook too, so I got two of those. Those are a quarter a piece. Oh, I forgot to mention at Dollar Tree, I got this tape, it's decorative tape. I saw somebody in uh, YouTube this. I will try to remember... If I don't have a picture already Instagrammed, I will try to find one. If I, I'll try to find it for you on my Instagram. This is that glue I was telling you about. I have bought it last time to test it out. As I said, I'm so far I'm liking it pretty well. It's like 50 cents. So they have a four pack, but I just got another two pack because I figured that'd last me a while. It's sticking to what I want it to do. You know, just glue small things on there. Now I thought I had cr tried Craze Art, and I'm pretty sure I had and wasn't happy with it. I was gonna get the Crayola. Um, color pencils because I wanted to have a separate set in a in my makeup bag to keep with my Hobonichi stuff. Some of the little people in the Hobonichi journal group said they weren't as good, but I tested it out and so far it's working pretty good. Maybe they've reformulated this. Sorry, my dog just wanted a booty bought me. So, and I'll do a review on these if you guys want to see a review, but so far from when I swatched on these, it seems like they made the the leads on there thicker and stronger so anyway that's my haul i hope you guys enjoyed the video um i guess i'm gonna go now because it is hot and i need to get into another fan so anyway take care and god bless